Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Econ 143 Environmental Economics Canvas course site. The purpose of this video is just to give you a quick tour of the Canvas course site, as well as kind of how to get started and move through the class. So if you log into our Econ 143 Canvas course site, you're going to see this is our default homepage. So here you have a link to the syllabus, a link to a goals contract. That goals contract is basically my goals for you all this quarter, what I hope to achieve with this class, some challenges. I expect to receive and trying to reach those goals and then some ways to overcome those challenges. And the reason why I provide you with a copy of that goals contract is because you yourself will have to create part of uh, a goals contract as part of that class rules and academic honesty survey worth one extra credit point, which you can complete in module zero that we're going to talk about here in one second. Here's a link to our student hours, right, uh, which will be held through Zoom here in this online and asynchronous class, right? If you scroll down, you're going to see the information here that the student hours are from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So during that time, I'll be available to answer any questions that you may have. Just click on that Zoom link and I'll take you right to it, right? Also, I have uh, given you all my cell phone number. Right, because again, with an online asynchronous class, I might not always be in my office. So just feel free to call me on my cell phone if you have any questions or if you need anything. Right, um, this is kind of one rule that I have is that if you want to send me a message and have me reply to that message, I'd rather you shoot me an email there at joab.corey at ucr.edu, just because I can type out the reply to your email a lot faster than I can type out the reply to your text. Right, so if you just want to send me a message and have me reply to it, make sure you shoot me an email. But if you want to have a back and forth conversation, that's when you want to call me on my cell phone. All right. Um, in addition to that Zoom link, I also have a page called Inspiration and Positivity, right? If you're just feeling down or if you're feeling like there's just nothing but bad news out there, right? There's actually a link to what we call the Good News Network that posts only positive news stories. And then a whole bunch of inspirational messages, a lot of which are coming from marginalized voices, which are really kind of hopefully give you a good uplift to your day in case you were uh, struggling with anything, right? In addition to that, right, I also have a link to our official class Discord site, right? So if you want to communicate with your fellow classmates through Discord, here's the official site with which you can do that. Uh, the reason why I have that is because a lot of times you all might want to answer your own questions, right? And um, with that in mind, that Discord site is just a way for you all to communicate with one another. I will be checking in that every once in a while just to make sure there's no cheating or cyberbullying or anything like that going on. That's mostly a place for you all to hang out and kind of communicate here again in this online class. Right here's a link for technical support if you need it. I also have a page here called Student Resources. If you find yourself suffering from anything related to your mental or physical health, right here's a list of all the resources provided not only by the campus, but by the surrounding area as well, right? So it contains links to things like the Academic Resource Center, Basic Needs Department, the Care Office, uh, Counseling and Psychological Services, Financial Aid, right? All the stuff that the university provides. And then once you get past the university resources, there's all kinds of community and national resources as well, such as the Inland SoCal Crisis and Suicide Helpline or the National Suicide Prevention Hotline or the Riverside County Cares Line, right? So again, if you find yourself struggling at all over the next five weeks with anything, right, these are some uh, good resources, some professional resources that can certainly help you out there, right? Going back to our homepage, in addition to that, I also have a page here called Student Opportunities. Anytime I get an email about a, a student group opportunity or a volunteer opportunity or maybe an internship opportunity, right? I usually post those links here, right? So I call this uh, page kind of resume builders. If you're interested in building your resume outside of this class, these are kind of some interesting opportunities for you to do so, right? So again, that's kind of what's contained on our Canvas homepage. Right. In addition to that, the real star of the show here is this page called Modules. This is where most of the work's going to happen. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So if you click on Modules, as all the learning modules up to the midterm exam, right? So Module 0 is kind of our introductory module. I'll walk you through that here as part of this tour. And then Module 1 is your first actual learning module for the class. I'll kind of walk you through that one as well. And then they run pretty similar to that Module 1. You got Module 2 on Chapter 2, Module 3 on Chapter 3, Module 4 on Chapter 4. And then I have an exam preparation module that kind of has all the things uh, that you need to prepare for the exam, right? All the steps you need to take, including an optional uh, uh, 
extra credit assignment that you can do to really help prepare you for that midterm. And then the last link on here on the day in which it will be available will be your actual midterm exam that you'll complete through there, right? So again, I have everything up to the midterm exam already posted for you so you can work ahead as much as you like, right? All the way up to that midterm exam. And then you'll actually be taking that midterm exam as it says there on Wednesday, uh, August the 14th, uh, or somewhere around the uh, beginning of that week, I'll start posting the material for the rest of the class, right? I don't want to get you, I don't want you to get too far ahead because the midterm only covers this information up to this point. Right now, your final exam will be cumulative. It will cover everything, right? So again, around August 14th or so is when I will be posting all that information for you, right? So that you have uh, uh, all the rest of the information you can start working on after the midterm exam. I just don't want you to confuse the information that won't appear on the midterm with information that will appear on the midterm until you take that midterm exam. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through a module. So you can click on any one of these steps to completing the module here from this overview page. But if you click here on this module zero overview, it'll take you right to a step-by-step -step format by which you can complete these steps. So again, step one is to read the syllabus. And once again, I have a link to the syllabus and the goals contract here for you. Right. Also contained here is the uh, introduction PowerPoint PDF slides that you can complete here. Right. Um, uh, so if you want to say uh, have those slides available to you while you're um, watching that uh, introductory video, you can uh, print them off in both PowerPoint and PDF format and then use them to take notes while you are watching the uh, video there. Right. And then I have just a brief get to know you survey. This doesn't count for any credit, but helps get to uh, helps me get to learn where you are uh, or who you are as a student so that I can uh, kind of maybe tailor the rest of the class to what suits you the best. And then we have a class rules and academic honesty survey, right? This is actually going to be worth one extra credit point if you can complete it by the time it's due, which is going to be Wednesday, July 31st, right? And then we have a, a discussion board meet and greet, right? That is where uh, you'll be able to introduce yourself to everybody in the class, not just me, right? So get to know you surveys where I find out a little bit about you. The discussion board meet and greets where you get to divulge as much information or as little as you like right, to your fellow classmates who are going to be looking at that, right? So I want to kind of point out that the class academic on uh, class rules and academic honesty survey closes for you on Wednesday, July 31st. That's when you'll submit it. And then I'll make sure to go through each one. And as long as you answered all the questions, you'll get an extra credit point. I try to have that done uh, no later than the second full week of classes, right? If you click next again, right, it's going to take you right to that syllabus. So you can kind of read that through that syllabus, right, and see what the rules are for the class. Click next again, it's going to take you right to my goals contract for you. Again, you can kind of look over that to see how you might want to form your own goals contract, which you have to do as part of that extra credit survey. If you click next again, it's going to take you right to that introductory video. Welcome everybody to Environmental Economics or Econ 143. That's where I'm going to tell you all kind of what your grades are going to be comprised of, what each assignment looks like, that kind of thing. Right. So it's definitely good to watch that video to get a good understanding of kind of the rules of the course. If you click next again, there's that get to know you survey. Just click on take the survey, right? Um, and make sure you complete it before Wednesday. Same thing with the class rules and academic honesty survey. If you just click on take the survey and complete it before the due date, you'll get that extra credit point. Again, it takes me some time to go through and manually grade them all, right? But I'll make sure you get that extra credit there as uh, quickly as I can. And then click next again. It's going to take you right to that meet and greet uh, discussion board where I kind of introduce myself and then give you the opportunity to introduce yourself as part of this course. Just click on reply. And again, you can um, uh, you know, tell your fellow classmates anything you might want them to know about you or myself anything you might want me to know about you. And we'll go through and kind of, again, get to know each other that way here in a class where we're never going to be in the same place at the same time. As once again, this class is completed online and asynchronously, meaning that you can complete it anytime you want, right, throughout the uh, quarter. The only uh, uh, two days that you actually have to complete the assignment on that day is the day of the midterm and then the day of the final, right? Other than that, right, you can complete these assignments anytime you want up until the point in which they are due, right? So that's what module zero looks like. Uh, again, that's more of an introductory module. You should be able to complete that in a limited amount of time, right? Now, module one is kind of your first learning module. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So if you click on the overview for that module, again, it's going to have the steps for completing that module step-by-step -step format. So there are three lecture videos for this module, all of which I've created myself. Uh, and here I give you the timestamp for each video, so how long each video is. Right. And then here again are the slides in both PowerPoint and PDF format. If you'd like to print them out and use them to take notes while you're watching the video. 
Also, our folder has some additional readings that correspond to the module, right? They're not all required, but you might need uh, to read one of them to complete the learning module assignment. And then the rest are to kind of uh, give you some fuel to write your uh, economics paper, which if you watch the introductory video, we talk a little bit about. And I also included a kind of grading rubric for that paper as well to kind of help you understand what's involved in terms of how you're going to be graded. Right, then you have the uh, extra credit t-shirt slogan, right? That is actually uh, something that uh, uh, I'll talk a little bit about here, but you can actually get an extra credit point for submitting a pro-economics idea on a t-shirt that I might wear in my future classes. Uh, so with that in mind, you get one point for completing this assignment or two extra credit points if your assignment is good enough for me to turn into a shirt, right? And I have the rules posted there under that assignment link, right? Now, for each learning module, I've created a review session video. This is usually a short, try to keep between like uh, 15, uh, 10 and 20 minutes, no longer than 20, right? But usually averaging around 15 minutes of kind of just real quickly, here's kind of how you go through the information in this uh, uh, particularly learn, uh, particular learning module, right? So if you don't want to watch all the lecture videos again, but you just want a quick uh, down and dirty review of the material, right? That's what you're going to get here on these uh, uh, review session videos. Once again, I provided the slides in both PowerPoint and PDF format. Now, another thing I've done is I've created a brief tutorial on, uh, I think, uh, is either the most important or the most difficult part from each learning module, right? Because this is usually what your learning module assignment is based on. So after watching the videos, if you're still struggling with the material in general, you can watch the review session video. After that, if you're still struggling with the material that uh, appears on the learning module assignment, then you can watch this tutorial video where it gets an even shorter a uh, more bridge version of me walking you through that particular concept. As we move further in the class where there's more and more mathematical problems involved, it's usually me walking you through one of those mathematical examples step by step, right? And once again, I have the slides here in both PowerPoint and PDF format if you'd like to print them out and use them to study, All right? So with that in mind, the final step in each learning module, at least the final required one, is to complete the learning module assignment, right? Again, there's one of these for every learning module, so make sure that you complete them. They're worth five points. And again, there's eight of these because there's eight learning modules that comprise about 40 points or 10% of your final grade. And then at the end of each learning module, I do have a module, uh, 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 what I call virtual break room. And what this is, is kind of just a way for you to unplug from the required assignments for this class in such a way to maybe help you, um, uh, I guess, take a break, increase your cognitive ability for the next module, right? They actually did a study on three things that we know improve cognition. Right. And that includes exercise, meditation and some computer games. Right. So with that in mind, I've actually uh, created a learning module uh, where uh, you have an opportunity to take an exercise break. Right. You have an opportunity to take a uh, relaxation or meditation break. And then you have an opportunity to actually complete a digital escape room for some of these modules. Right. Which, again, is kind of a computer game designed to help you interact with the material in a more interesting or hopefully fun way. And each one of these virtual break rooms also include a uh, what I call a social break. It's just an optional discussion board for you to interact with your fellow classmates, should you choose to do so uh, outside of Discord. Right. So again, if you click next, it's going to take you right to that first video. Right. So this is the first lecture video. Just click on play, and it'll uh, start that video for you. Welcome, Highlanders, to the. And so again, this is kind of uh, the uh, very first video that you'd watch. And as soon as you're done watching it, if you're ready for the next one, you click next, and it'll take you right to video number two. So again, all you gotta do is start at the beginning and, click, and keep clicking next, and it'll take you right through the step-by-step -step format that we just talked about for completing this learning module, right? If you click next again, it's gonna take you to those optional readings, right? The why I'm not environmentalist is actually one that you'll have to read for your first learning module assignment, but the rest of these are optional, but something that you could use if you need some information for your uh, paper, right? Click next again, it's gonna take you right to that t-shirt assignment. Again, you're gonna be uh, submitting that through module, right? There are some rules to this, right? Including the slogan must be positively referring to economics, right? The length of the statement must be able to adequately fit on a t-shirt. Make sure you keep it G-rated, right? Uh, as I wear these t-shirts as I leave my uh, uh, house, uh, don't want to have to explain anything that I don't want to have to have talk about yet with my uh, 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 children who are between the ages of two and 14 years old, right? So keep it at least appropriate for them, right? The slogan can be adapted by popular media, but must otherwise be original. You can turn in as many slogans as you want with the idea that you'll get one extra credit point uh, 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 no matter what, unless one of the slogans is good enough to be a shirt, in which case you'll receive two, right? But two is the most that you can receive no matter how many you turn in, right? 
And again, I'm only going to set these slogans through Canvas. Please don't email them uh, to me, and please don't try to turn them in late. If you click next again, it's going to take you right to that review session video. If you like a brief review of the material, you can just watch that. Again, I try to keep these uh, fairly short. So if you look at it, this uh, first video here is about 15 minutes long. Uh, if you click next again, it's going to take you right to that tutorial video where, again, I just briefly explain what you're going to need to know for Module 1. Right, again, um, try to keep these videos short. Oh, you can see this one here is only about 10 minutes long. Click next again, it's gonna take you right to that assignment. Just make sure that you complete that assignment before the due date, which is gonna be the end of week one, right? That is uh, 11.55 p.m. on August 2nd. And if you click next again, it's gonna take you right to that virtual break room, right? So this right here includes, again, a exercise break. I even have a section here called Pass the Prof. This is kind of my performance on the exercise challenge. You can try to beat it if you want. And then there's a relaxation break, which is usually like a breathing exercise or guided meditation. I also have a digital escape room, right? So if you click on this link here, it should take you right to that digital escape room. All you got to do is put it in the uh, full screen or slideshow mode, right? And if you do that, they'll have different things that you can click on here throughout the room. Just click on this uh, box here to uh, see what the locks look like. And then you want to click on these clues here, right? Like, for example, click on this computer. This looks like a clue. Right, that you can use those clues to maybe try to figure out how to unlock those rooms. Again, it kind of is a fun way to work through the material while giving you a break from the required assignments in the class. Right, so that's what the uh, virtual break rooms look like. Again, I have one for every learning module. Uh, not all of them contain the uh, digital escape room, but uh, I think the first four do. So again, you have the opportunity to do those up to the uh, final exam or up to the midterm exam. Right. So that's what Module 1 looks like. Module 2 looks pretty similar. The only thing that's different about Module 2 that I want to talk about is it does have the grading rubric for your paper as well as the submission link for the paper itself. So this is a paper that you're going to need to complete by August 19th, which is uh, basically the end of Week 3 or beginning of Week 4 for the class. right? If you click on the grading rubric, right, it has, again, kind of um, how this paper is going to be graded. Right, what you need to complete, and again, kind of uh, how much each part is worth in terms of points, and what I'll be taking points off for. So as long as you have this rubric, out, this rubric out, and you are writing your paper as you're consulting this rubric and make sure, making sure that you're including all these things, then you are uh, most likely to get full credit in doing so because you're not going to leave out anything that you'll get docked off points for. Right, so just make sure you have these things included in these sections, or else you're going to lose two points for every one of these that are not included. So just make sure you're checking those off as you are. Writing writing your paper, right? Um, again, going back to our modules page there, uh, again, the uh, kind of uh, overview or instructions for writing the paper are contained right here on the submission link, right? So again, you can kind of go through and uh, make sure that you are following the directions as well as following that grading rubric, right? So this paper consists of three parts, right? You either research an environmental solution or gauge your environmental impact for part one. You only have to do one, not both. Right, and then we have part two, which is research and environmental science graduate program that interests you. And then part three, research and environmental science employment opportunity that interests you, right? So these are the parts of the paper that uh, you need to complete, right? Again, you have an option for part one, but everybody's gotta do part two or three, right? So the reason why I'm telling you this now here in this kind of uh, quick tour of our Canvas course site video is because you have to get uh, jumping on this right away here in our summer class, which is only five weeks long. Right. So after week one or after module two, which you'll finish on Monday of week two, you should have all the information you need in order to start working on that paper. Right. And so, again, that kind of gives you weeks two and three to write it. And then week uh, again, beginning of week four is when it is due. So make sure you submit it by then. And that's it. That's a quick tour of our Canvas course site. Again, you kind of see what the learning modules look like. Right Again, I already have modules two, three and four available to you, as well as your exam preparation module. Um, and so with that in mind, you can start working ahead if, as, uh, as you see fit. Uh, other than that, just let me know if you have any questions about that. So if you're looking at where to get started, just start here at the beginning of Module 0 and start working your way through them. Right. If you need anything, I do have my student hours from 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every Tuesday and Thursday. Right. So you can come check those out. Right. Just click on that Zoom link located on our Canvas homepage right here. And I'll be available to answer any questions you may have. You never have to join those Zoom uh, student hours if you don't want to, but they are available there for you should you want to uh, 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 talk to me about anything or have any questions. Other than that, you can also shoot me an email or call me on my cell phone. So I look forward to talking to you if you need anything. But until then, stay safe and healthy. Take care.